Big responsibility to come with saying, my body, my temple. I don't drink, I don't yeah. smoke. Like, I done became so boring yeah. to all of the wrong people. Mm -hmm. But I'm so interesting to all of the right people. Anything that make me uncomfortable or a challenge, man, if it ain't rough, it ain't us. Yeah. So sometimes we have psychological challenges. Sometimes we have emotional challenges. Sometimes we have physical challenges. So listen, yeah. I got to learn from what I, I learn what I need from this situation. And whether it's uncomfortable, unfortunate, look for the positive line in it and move on. Cool, cool. We back, man. We back in full effect. You know what I'm saying? Like, we never left. All right, we're back with another video, guys. May. Oh, let me take this blue light off this phone, man. Hold up. No good. We don't want a blue light. Come on. The Apple verification bullshit. So today... May 21st, 19, no, I'm just kidding, 2024, and today is Tuesday, you guys know what it is, man, chest day is the best day, so we're doing chest, oh, what's that clunking noise, what the hell, what the hell is that? weird got a little bit of clunking on my truck in the front that's weird I don't like that hopefully it's just because it was sitting after I got washed yesterday I think it is but yeah so uh, as you guys can see I got some good rest yesterday good rest last night I feel pretty good pretty good pretty good and um, today's chest day, man. Chest, biceps, and shoulders. So, decided to wear a little short sleeve, well, sh sleeveless champion shirt that I found. I had to switch it up, you know, you gotta switch things up every once in a while. But I decided to wear this today because it's nice out. It's about to be 70 something degrees today, so why not? Why not? You know, usually I, I would say I would like to. Wow. Usually I would say I like to cover up until the workout's done, but sometimes there's nothing wrong with having something to look at, you know what I mean? While you train, just to give you a little bit of incentive incentive a little bit of motivation nothing wrong with that so yeah man on our way to the gym now to get these chest biceps and shoulders done i'm actually looking forward to today's workout because i don't know i just i can't i'm looking forward to the pump we're gonna start off with of course we're gonna do some push-ups and the reason why i start off with push-ups guys is because it's like a pre- it's like a, for one, it's a warm up. And number two, it's like you pre fatigue your chest, pre exhaust your chest before you hit anything compound or anything else. Now, would I do this normally if I was just training for uh, eight to 12 reps, pushing, just trying to push some weight? I definitely would not do that at all. I would just get straight to the compound moves, but I'd warm up with like, you know, some stuff with the cables and warm up my shoulders and stuff before I go into compound. But I definitely would not be doing push-ups to pre-fatigue myself before I hit the weights because I want to, the whole goal to pushing weights is to push as much amount of weights as you can, save as much energy as you can. So I would not pre, pre-exhausting my chest, so to speak, before I do that. But we're doing this now because right now we're on this program, this is what we're doing. And I think we're going to do this program for like another month. And then uh, we might, we're, we're going to end up switching it up. So, yeah. Um, going here. I'm going to do some push-ups. I really would like to do 10 slow push-ups. Right? 
uh, in the beginning, slow and controlled, and then I like to get like at least a few sets of 30. My goal is to get a few sets of 30 today. Now, doing the first 10 slow is going to really take a lot out of me, you know, so I'm not sure if I'm exactly going to get 30, but I'm aiming for 30. I, I was going to just do 30 all out, just regular pump, pump, pump. But uh, I need some control reps in there, so I can't I can't just do all that. Maybe on the last one we'll do that. I don't know, but I, I'm sure like the last the first ten we're gonna uh, control and contract. We're gonna do regular. We're not gonna do any knuckles today. We're just gonna do regular, just because I want to try to get them thirties. If I can, we'll see. And then after that, we're gonna do a different machine today. We're gonna hit a different machine. And we're going to do that for chest. A few sets, a few working sets there. And then we're going to go to some flies, man. Some pec deck or cable flies. We'll see, whatever, is, whatever is open and whatever feels good to me in my mind at the time. So we'll do that. And then we're going to do some... I want to destroy biceps today. I really do. So... There's only so much destroying you're going to do by doing high reps, by doing, like, 20s, you know what I mean? So, my defini definition of destroying is, like, feeling like they're destroyed, feeling that burn. Because with high reps, you guys got to remember, it's all about the burn. Just heavy lifting, accessory movements, yes, you can get the burn too, but when you're lifting, even with regular weights, like compound movements, with... You know this routine it's you're not really gonna get that much of a big pump you're gonna get more of a burn the only probably the pump you're gonna get is from push-ups and stuff like that and maybe you know the shoulder presses but as far as everything else it's mostly a burning feeling you're getting we're gonna go in here I want to do some biceps I don't know what we're doing for biceps I honestly hmm I'm gonna go by feel I like doing dumbbell, don't get me wrong, I like doing dumbbell, standing dumbbell curls, but the problem with that is doing 20 reps, one, one, two, two, three, it takes so fucking long, so if anything, I think I want to do some preacher curls with the dumbbells, even though it's one, at a, one arm at a time, but I get to really focus on the, the peak at the bottom of the bicep, and then I think I want to do some easy bar Standing curls, maybe. I don't know. We'll see, man. I really would like to do dumbbells, but unless I do ten, you know, one arm at a, one arm at a time, and then ten regular, I could do that for sure. And then, uh, obviously, end with some hammers. Hammers are very important. I don't know why nobody likes to do hammers. That works the whole outside of your bicep. This part too. Nobody likes to do hammers. It's weird, man. I don't understand it. So, very important. You gotta get all muscle, all sides of the muscles, man. So we're gonna go in here, do that, and then of course at the end we're gonna burn out with some side laterals, whether that be machine or dumbbells, most likely dumbbells, four set to twenty, and then we're gonna go check the pump downstairs, man, and see how we look. You know, I didn't cheat yesterday. I've been doing good now, so, but I did have a burger, finished a burger, but it was like ninety percent lean, but it was a, it was I had it on my cheat day, cause um. And they go out to eat. But 90% lean, it's basically 96% lean because when I cooked it, all the fat came off. I didn't cook with no oil or nothing. So all the fat drained from it. So the burger was kind of dry and it was pretty heavy. Not going to lie. So my stomach is a little distended from that. But other than that, man, I no sweets. I'm not fucking with no sweets all week. I'm not doing none of that. The only thing I have is fruits. That's it, man. I'm not fucking around, man. I'm trying trying to get locked in. Now, we already in fucking June, man. You know what I mean? We got to get locked in. So. <sighs> Took a nice warm shower. I feel good. Back's a little stiff. Neck's a little stiff, but probably from sleeping, sleeping the wrong way. Other than that, everything's charged up, ready to go. And uh, let's get in here and get this shit done, man. All right, so you guys. The reason I like training over here is because, well, in this particular area, because the sun is shining over here. The sun comes through the window, so it feels good and just gives me a little motivation. 
you know, get that sun shining on you while you're working out. But uh, first set here. Try to get some. Th try to get thirty reps. Ah. Uh. Oh. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, that bunch. Oh, three more like that. If we can do it. <laughs> See, one thing I take note of is I notice with push-ups, right after your first set, you get super pumped right away. Well, not super pumped, but you get a pump like immediately, it's right after your first set. So that's the wonderful thing about doing push-up. You get a pump immediately. Um, also, you also want to take enough rest time in between so you can feel recovered enough to go to your second working set. At least a minute or two for your muscles to regroup. And uh, then you get right back to it. Unless you're doing a super set, no need to do that. But uh, let's, on. let's go next. What? Oh, 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 fuck. Mm. Couple more like that. Ah, oh, shit. I wish I didn't have to pause like that. But the burn is unbearable sometimes. I try to work through it, but that burn is fucking crazy. So, two more. I lied. Do some knuckles on this one. I want to switch to regular after the 10. <clears throat> Oh. Okay, we're going fast now. Oh. Oh. It's Oh, fuck. Touch. 
这个，哦。啊，是，哎，爸，哦，哎，你，哦 ，fuck， 啊。I think it was because I, I did the knuckles first. Took a lot more out of me. I don't know. Doing them fast pace. I think if, when you're doing fast pace, the push ups, you're better off doing them fast pace from beginning to end rather than slow in the beginning and fast to the end because only because I feel as if the 10 slow takes so much out of you in the beginning. That don't even matter if you go fast at the end. Yeah. And you just end up burning out faster. You pump it out faster. Rather than staying the same pace though, all the way through. So that's what I think. Well, one more. Oh shit. This is fucking hard, guys. Oh. Oh shit. I'm literally feeling it. Oh. Try to get at least five more. Come on, five more. Oh, that's it. Oh, shit. Oh. That's fucking hard. For those of you that think you can do these, go for it. Slow and controlled, man. Try, I guarantee you. It'll be harder than you think. All right, next exercise. <clears throat> So we found the space. This machine is uh, what is this? Not that it's fun. This machine gives you a good stretch at the bottom and a good squeeze at the top. It's one of those machines that when you get to the top, it starts to get harder because it comes in like this, like comes up like this. So this climbing machine that comes up like that. It gets harder at the top of the movement. So, all you got to do is put your seat down lower to get more of an incline chest. 
all you gotta do. If you wanna do more decline, you put it seat high as you can. And if you wanna do more middle, put the seat in the middle. Very simple, it's all about how you change the seat. So, right here, 20 reps, two to three sets, and uh, really get that squeeze and focus on that contraction at the top. So, first 10 control, the rest pump out. You guys know what the fuck that is. Kind of hard to get my fucking hands. Oof. Good weight right there. Ooh. Yeah. Should probably go up one more on this one. Ah, that's a big jump. 110. I'm doing 110. Up to 130. Pushing it. Stay right here. Feels good. Uh, two more sets here. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. My chest is already destroyed. Fried, but actually, not fried, but it's very pretty much fatigued. Remember, we pre exhausted the chest with push ups, doing 30s, slow and control. Definitely feeling it now, but like I said, one or two sets here, then uh, we'll do a couple sets of flies and we'll move on to arms. Wow. 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 Ah. Ah. Oh shit. Ah. That was good. We'll do one more. Fuck it, we'll go up one more. Not the weight. Go to one thirty. You know, when you do these, the first 10, you're going slow and controlled. You're like, hmm, I feel like I could do 50 of them. But as you go on, I'm telling you guys, you get fatigued pretty fast. Especially when you're slow and controlled in the beginning like that. Like I said, whatever. If you're doing one of these bats or just pump the reps, pump it from the start. Don't do this while I'm doing it because you're going to fatigue faster. But it doesn't matter because we're not ego lifted in here anyways. At least not right now. So it don't even matter. We're just really trying to make the muscle work. Focus and squeeze and contract the muscle. Doing them this way, I guarantee you. If your buddies laugh at you, tell them to come try it and do exactly how you're doing it. With the slow tempo. They're gonna see what you're talking about. Oh, one more set. 130s may not seem like a lot, but I do it. You'll see. You'll get humbled very fast.
Go to supplies. <clears throat> Chest is already warm. Already packed. <clears throat> I think that your pan. I hate when I gotta grab this from this low. This, this is how you hurt your back. Got him from that low. Fuck, man. Ah. Oh. Oh, shit. So. Be very careful when you grab these. You will hurt your back. Grabbing them shits that low. When you grab them. Push it from this part, because grabbing it from the low, trying to manhandle it up, will fuck your back up completely. But uh, get a good weight here. Two, four, five. Two, two, four, five. The hell? Damn man. On the heavy. Um. You guys know, 15 to 20. I'm going to do the first one. Actually, where did it come? We're going to do them like this, downwards. So. Doing them downwards is going to work the lower chest. When I used to lift before, I used to hit all three targets of the chest up, flat, lower. So now that I'm not doing decline, I got to hit the lower somehow. Whether it be with dips or with bent over flies. So, actually, when you do flies, you kind of want to, you don't want to bend over all the way because if you bend over all the way, parallel 90 degrees. You're gonna hit more of just the flat chest, like doing flat flies. You come like this a little bit. That's how you hit the level. So, so you guys ready? Like this. Mm. 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 <sighs> Controller. <clears throat> Ah. Yeah, baby. Perfect. One or two more like that. Ah. Chest feeling good right now. The flies feel really good. <clears throat> what the fuck? I don't know what's happening. I'm doing flies. That would have been crazy. 
Oh, look at that. Bad injury right there. Yikes. So <sighs> oh, fuck. Let's drop the weight on this. It's hard, buddy. We're at 11. 12. 13. 14. 15. 16. 17. 18. 19. Oh. I'm almost. Yikes. Whew. With that. Damn. My chest might be complete with that. Let's go to biceps. So we're gonna start with the 60s. Easy ball curls. Put some 20s. Actually, could do 21s, but I don't want to put too much pressure on my abdominal. Because doing 21s, you definitely engage your core a lot. So we're just going to do regular 20s with just the bar. I mean, just regular 20s. I was going to do dumbbells, but uh, the area is kind of taken right now. So do this. And then we'll go to some. Um, what should we do after this? Oh. Oh. oh, good. I was almost going to do the 21s. Hmm. What do we have with that? 60s. We'll do 21 the next set. We're doing 21 reps. So you're actually doing seven low. Seven low to work the lower part of the bicep. Seven, well, seven high. Bring it from down low to up high and do seven high to work the up top part of the bicep, like up here towards your shoulder. And then seven regular to work the overall bicep. So, very old school. Nobody does them anymore, but let's show you how to do these right now. Okay. Uh. Ooh, yeah, those are 21s, that shit burns, trust me, ooh, but, I like doing those, but 
I'm gonna do 20 regular next. I'm gonna go up to the 70s. All right, we got the 70s now. 20 regular. And like I said, guys, we're doing 20s because this is gonna help you get way more cut than doing 10 to 12. I mean, 10 to 12s will still get cut because it's all in your diet, but 20s, higher reps. It just cuts into the muscle more, you get more, you burn more fat in that muscle, the higher the reps you do. And it's more of endurance too, helps with your endurance. Oh, ah. Just remember, slow and control, guys. Ah. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Oh. Ten. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Seventeen. Ah. Ah. Fucking bicep on fire. Holy shit, dude. Ooh. Next exercise. Fuck, that felt good, dude. So good. So this exercise works good. Like when you're doing the double bicep curl. I mean, when you're doing the double bicep, you're posing like this. This is going to really make your biceps pop out a lot more when you do this exercise. I'm telling you guys. It's an isolated movement too, so you're isolating the biceps. It works the peak and the upper portion of the bicep. The overall bicep, but this just hits it in a different angle. <laughs> you don't need heavy weight with this neither. You can, but oh, I'm sure you're even. Come out a little bit. Squeeze. Come to your head and squeeze. Two. Three. Oh. Ah. 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 I actually forgot how how much this fucking exercise burns because when you come to here like when you start to come out on the eccentric of the movement in the lower portion or you know coming down on the negative it burns so fucking much it burns like a motherfucker but very effective exercise I'm gonna do one more like that, one more like that, and then we'll go to do some hammers. We're gonna do some hammers. I think we'll do it on the V bar. Oh, one more like this. Oh, we're gonna have such a good pump check after this workout. See, it doesn't feel like much weight when you start, but as you go on, this motherfucker burns. Oh. <sighs> 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 
We'll go with that. I'm telling you guys, this shit fucking burns. We'll do some hammer curls with the V-bar right here. All right, 20s with the V-bar. To work the brachialis and the outer tight of the bicep. It's essentially just like doing hammer curls with the dumbbells. Except you're doing them together. Oh, 20s. We can go up a little more. So. <laughs> 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 Ah, gosh, one more and we're done. Fuck. All right, last one. I'm in. Ah. Fuck. All right, we're done. Let's go to side laterals. Spamming them. Hold on. Slow it down. Mm. <sighs> I'm in such a good pump today, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I fucking love it. I'm telling you guys, the pump check is gonna be epic today. Woo! I wish I felt like this every day, honestly. So <laughs> good proper sleep does for you. Good sleep. Wow, this would be like the perfect posing. Perfect posing because of the light. But I can't take our shirt off in here. Wish I could. No, nah, I don't like it. <sighs> Too much like that. Bring them up higher. Uh, 
Oh, fuck, man. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh fuck, I'm done. We're done. Time to go check this damn pump. All right, so the pump is ridiculous today. Crazy workout, felt really good the whole workout. And um, we actually killed it today. It's probably the best workout I've had in a long time, but enough talking. Let's see what we got before the pump is gone. Water completely, completely subsides. Of course, my waist is thicker today because I told you I had that fucking burger uh, yesterday. And the fucking burger was heavy. Anything red meat it takes a while to break down in your body. So, waist is a little bit more distended, more blockier today. But damn. It looks like I did heavy reps. It looks like I trained heavy, and I didn't. Wow. <laughs> I fucking love it. Is there is there anything else? Oh, there he is. So. <sighs> Bam. Bam. All right, let's get out of here. Oof, that was good. We back. The headphones on, yep. We back in effect. Just got out the gym. And what up? Perfect, perfect workout. That was the most perfect workout I've had in a long time from doing high reps like this in this program. And I think it has a lot to do with the red meat that I had, of course. The red meat gives you a lot of, not only does it give you a lot of um, power and stuff, but it definitely gives you more energy. It's just not good to eat all the time because, especially if you're in a cut, some everybody's body's different though. I know for me that um, 
I know for me that it takes a while for to break down in my body and my, my stomach gets distended. So I um I try not to have it all the time. Once a week, twice a week, the, the most. Like I said, when I was heavier before, when I was pushing 300, um, if I could find a picture, I'll put it up in here. Man, I was fucking only eating to get as strong as I could. I didn't really care how I looked. I just wanted to be big and very strong. So I would eat red meat every single day. Sometimes I'd eat it twice a day, like steaks. But I'd have the fattier steaks, which isn't good. I'd have like the... Um, I'd have like the fattier steaks instead of the lean steaks and that can definitely raise your cholesterol a lot not only did I have those steaks but I also had a lot of eggs I ate like 12 eggs every day so eggs with the steaks every day that should get you strong as fuck is it healthy for you I mean that's a debate that's arguable you know because it can be if I don't know actually I don't think anything in excess in excess is healthy for you especially high cholesterol stuff whether you're doing keto or not I don't foresee that being healthy for you like especially having it with carbs because I used to eat a lot of carbs too so I would not only eat that I would eat a lot of carbs so that definitely didn't help but I'll tell you this much um, it helped me get my strongest that I ever got in my life. And I was young. I was like 25, 26, benching 465 for one rep. It was a one rep max. All natural. 425 incline and 465, no, 455 decline. So shoulder press was, my seated shoulder press was 325 in the front and 285 in the back. One rep max is, of course. So, if you guys want to check that out, I got my Instagram and shit. Um, if you guys want to follow, it's Muscleville King. You can go check it out. But you got to go all the way towards the bottom to get those lifts. But I have them recorded, so you know I'm not lying. I've always been a big believer in if you didn't, if it's not on camera, you didn't record it, it didn't happen. Because I don't want to be one of the, one of those guys and say, oh yeah, I used to do this. I used to. no, it's on camera, so. But that was before lifting or fitness became very pop. Started getting way before it got popular. So, yeah, man. Um, so yeah, that the red meat definitely helps a lot. It gives you a lot of good energy. It boosts up your strength, your stamina. Definitely is benefits from it, but in moderation. You know what I mean? Red meat, lean red meat, is fine. But like I said, still even that, I try not to do all because it's such a heavy protein you know so for the rest of the week i'm probably just gonna have turkey burgers i think they're 93 percent lean but i cook them in the air fryer so it drains all the fat at the bottom so either way it doesn't really matter um I'll have, i'd rather i'll have turkey bur burgers and brown rice with broccoli that'll be my meal for the rest of the week my dinner for lunch i usually have turkey sandwich you guys know how i eat you guys know i don't have to break it down to you but yeah, man, the energy in the gym was great. Felt good today. I wish I could feel like that every day. But I also got proper rest, proper nutrition. And yeah, um, I just feel good, man. And the temperature is beautiful out, 63 degrees. You really can't beat it, man. This is like so beautiful. I sound crazy right now. Let me chill. But um. Yeah, I just talking to some guys outside the gym, some kids, little kids, 18 and stuff, and they know what type of truck this is, and they're like, oh, let's hear you rev it. And I revved it, and it actually sounded pretty fucking good for once, because sometimes when I rev it, it, like, makes a, like, it doesn't, you don't hear the whine that much. This is a, tr this truck is a track hawk. They call it a track hawk. It's essentially a Hellcat, what, in a Jeep. So, yeah, I wind, I, I revved that, put it in sport mode, I revved it, and that shit, that shit popped, and it sounded, you could hear the whine, it sounded good, I was like, wow. Finally, because not all, it doesn't always sound like that, but I told him, I said, I, you know, I'd like to put a cold air intake in here at some point to make the whine louder, 
But anyways, that's 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 off the, to the subject of fitness. But I just want to throw that out there. So yeah, we did um, what did we do? We started off with some push-ups that were fucking hard today, and slow and controlled with ten, and then we sped up the pace. But like I said, man, even with slow and controlled in the beginning, it takes so much out of you that even when you speed it up, you're still gonna be fatigue pretty fast you know you're better off staying with the same momentum throughout if you can but you know in our minds we want to try to pump like I try to pump out as much as I can before I get fatigued before it comes in but the faster you pump it the, the faster fatigue comes in too so it's like it's like uh ah uh, it, it it's almost not even worth it kind of in a way but you probably can squeeze a couple extra reps in doing it that way. So that's why I, I do I try to do it that way. And even I, I try to go till failure too. I literally was doing the push-ups till failure. Like I wasn't stopping because I wanted to stop. I was literally stopping because I could not physically do anymore. The burn in the beginning was unbearable. So I did take a break in between. But towards the end, I almost couldn't even get up. Like my muscles failed on me. You know, and that's because of the high. I did 30s today and the tempo, switching up the tempo, then switching the knuckles. Really confusing the chest today. So my chest was like burning like no other. But we've pre-fatigued the chest with the push-ups, which you can't, you know, you can't beat it. It's almost like doing, no, it's not. But I was going to say it's almost like doing bench press, but it's not. But I pre-exhausted the, the chest, pre-exhausted chest with push-ups. Then we went to the machine which was like a, almost like an incline up and out movement to really target that chest, a little bit of the upper chest by putting the seat low. We did a couple good working sets there. 10 slow, get that good stretch, and then really pump it out towards the end. And then we did uh, flies, a little slightly bent over so we can hit that decline chest. And that felt good. That felt really good. Then we moved on to biceps. Biceps had a great pump. Easy bar curls. Oh, dude. My biceps felt so good today. They were burning. Did that. A couple sets. Then, you know, showed you guys the 21s. Then we moved over to some... Oh, I forget what you call that exercise. But they were basically... Uh, basically... Curls. Cable curls to the head. So, those are very effective, and they burn like a motherfucker, guys. They really burn. Very effective, though, when you're doing a double bicep pose. And then we all ended off with some hammer curls with the V-bar, and that felt so good. Good stretch and squeeze. Today, my body felt so good. So fucking good. And, yeah, so. That was that workout. Pump check was amazing. Pump was amazing. Everything felt good. And uh, back on track, guys. We ain't fucking around. Time to lock in. Good weather's here. Good motivation. Time to really lock in. Get good rest. Get good sleep. Get good nutrition. Stay on point. We in it to win it now. But like I said, we're going to do this program for another month or two. And then we'll start switching it up. And we'll do something different. We'll start. We'll either switch up the rep ranges to go start going heavier. Or... We're definitely switching something. Whether we go to a different gym, something's going to get switched up for sure. So, got my shake here. Maple waffle. You guys know I love maple waffle. And I actually put some maple syrup in it today. Some zero sugar maple syrup. So, let's see how this tastes. It's fucking good, but... I honestly don't even notice a difference. It's fucking good though. I am I didn't put that much water, so it made the consistency a little thicker, but I also made it like a little shot. It's not as much the volume. But yeah, gonna drink the shake. Have my egg whites, turkey bacon. Uh I would like to get a banana. Matter of fact, I gotta go to the store. That's what I gotta do. I gotta go to the store and get some bananas. So I'm gonna have a banana. And then 
I'll have my turkey sandwich. And then for my last meal, I'm gonna have my turkey patties with my veggies and my brown rice, because I haven't had brown rice in a while. Or I might do the white rice, because I wanna try to, I would like to do, rather do the white rice on the days that I train and the brown rice on the days that I don't train. Because I feel like the white rice will get shuttled to the muscle faster for sure, because it's high, gly high glycemic. And there's a mosquito in here that needs to be killed. I just killed it. Hopefully, yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to do white rice instead of the brown rice. And then that should be my last meal. If I really feel very hungry in between, which I don't think I will, but I have my protein brownies just in case. But I, honestly, with the protein brownies, there's nothing wrong with them. It's just high, you know, low. it's low sugar, but the sugar alcohols, it still kind of spikes your insulin a little bit. So after I have one, I feel satisfied for that second, but then I'm like, oh, I want something more sweet. So I've been kind of like staying away from it in a way because I don't want it to give me that open up any type of floodgates. Cause right now I'm not really craving anything sweet. I feel good. And I feel like if I would have had it yesterday, <clears throat> yesterday, it probably would have opened up some gates. So I said, let me not even have that at all. And that's what I did. And, and uh, I did good. So staying away from that for a little while, trying to keep it as basic as possible. And just trying to keep the protein up, man. Try to keep the protein up. Still doing three meals fourth meal would be I don't know man I fourth meal is cool but if I'm take, drinking a protein shake in between I feel like that's going to aid me more give me more protein without all the extra additional calories it's not as satiating of course but you know, I, I don't want to force myself to eat more if my body doesn't want to. Because then I'm going to keep spiking my insulin and then it's going to make me want to eat more. And then I'm going to end up eating more calories. You know? Not that it's a bad thing because I know I'm, I, I'm, I have so many calories that I can eat. But why if I don't have to? You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Protein is the most important thing, especially on a cut. You gotta get that protein in. So I'm gonna go in here, get a banana for the post workout. And then, um, I don't know. Might see if they got any more, any other protein that I can get. Actually, I do have protein though. If I want a snack, I have the beef jerkies. I forgot all about that. I got the beef jerkies, guys. The beef jerky, oh yes. So yeah, we got, we're all set with that. We got more additional protein right there. So we're good with that, we're fine. Just gonna go in here and get some bananas. That's about it. And then um, head home, go eat my breakfast, get the day started, start editing this video so I can drop it for you guys. And uh, yeah, washed my truck yesterday. So truck is very clean today. Smells good. Got the new air freshener up in here. Yeah, good day so far. Thank you, and I appreciate everybody for watching. Make sure you guys stay on your your diets. If you're dieting, stay on point because summer is here. It is no longer waiting. The summer, the good weather is here. Stay on your diets, and for those that are bulking or trying to put on muscle, keep hitting it hard. Hit them free weights. Keep them calories up. Keep the protein up. And keep grinding and keep hitting it hard. And, uh, you know, consistency and hard work is all going to pay off. I promise you guys. I love y'all. Have a wonderful day. And I hope y'all have a great workout. And I'll see you on the next one.